Concerning matter, we have been all wrong. What we have called matter is energy whose vibration has been so lowered as to be perceptible to the senses. Matter is spirit, reduced to a point of visibility. There is no matter. Time and space are not conditions in which we live, but models by which we think. Physical concepts are free creations of the human mind and are not, however it may seem, determined by the external world. Time does not exist. We invent it. Time is what the clock says. The distinction between past, present and future is only a stubbornly, stubbornly persistent illusion. The intellect has little to do on the road to discovery. There comes a leap in consciousness, call it intuition or what you will. The solution comes to you and you don't know how or why. I didn't arrive at my understanding of the fundamental laws of the universe through the thought of a rational mind. I think 99 times and I find nothing I stop thinking, swim in silence, and the truth comes to me. When you examine the lives of the most influential people who have ever walked among us, you will discover one thread that winds through them all. They have been aligned first with their spiritual nature and only then with their physical selves. Human being experiences themselves, their thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest a kind of optical delusion of consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us. It restricts us to our personal desires and to the affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature and its beauty. Our separation from each other is an optical illusion. When something vibrates, the electrons of the entire universe resonate with it. Everything is connected. The greatest tragedy of human existence is the illusion of separateness. The true value of a human being can be found in the degree of by which he has attempted liberation from the self. We are souls dressed up in sacred biochemical garments and our bodies are the instruments through which our souls play their music. The more I learn of physics, the more I am drawn to metaphysics. One thing I have learned in a long life, that all our science measured 
against reality is primitive and childlike. We still do not know one thousandth of one percent of what nature has revealed to us. It is entirely possible that behind the perception of our senses, worlds are hidden of which we are unaware. The ancients knew something which we seem to have forgotten. I am not an atheist. The problem involved is too vast for our limited minds. We are in the position of a little child entering a huge library filled with books in many languages. The child knows someone must have written those books. The common idea that I'm an atheist is based on a big mistake. Anyone who interprets my scientific theory this way did not understand them. Everything is determined for the insect as well as for the star. Human beings, vegetables or cosmic dust, we all dance to a mysterious tune intoned by an invisible piper in the distance. The religion of the future will be a cosmic religion. It will transcend a personal God and avoid dogma and theology. Everything is energy and that is all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but getting that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy, this is physics. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can only be changed from one form to another. I am happy because I want nothing from anyone. I do not care about money. Decorations, titles or distinctions mean nothing to me. I do not crave praise. I claim credit for nothing. A happy man is too satisfied with the present to dwell too much in the future. Life without playing music is inconceivable for me. I live my daydreams in music. I see my life in terms of music. I get most joy in life out of music. <laughs>